Hey guys, welcome back. Today we discuss this Alec Baldwin rust set shooting situation. Now, if you follow my channel, you know I haven't spoken about this issue up until this point. I've been waiting for the investigation to conclude and somebody to go to jail. Uh, it's obvious to me, just based on the information that's come out so far, that there was a complete and utter disregard for the safety and the security of the set when it comes to the risk to human life. And I know there's some people who say, well, he was told it wasn't live rounds. And I get all of that. I get, you know, the quote unquote chain of command argument. But here's the thing. When it comes to this sort of issue, when it comes to the issue of criminal negligence, every individual involved, in particular the shooter, is held to a completely different standard. They're expected to behave the way a reasonable person would in that situation with the information they had available to them at the time. Again, I'm going to I'm going to step back and let the investigation uh, proceed, but it's not looking good. And what's happening now um, is that Alec Baldwin won't shut up. And the thing about that is that every time he opens his mouth, what he says is making him look worse and worse. And today. Deadline is reporting that Alec Baldwin reposted a Rust crew member's assertion that claims of an unsafe set are BS. Everyone who was on set is under investigation right now. No one should be doing or saying anything. I'm sure everyone has lawyered up. If they haven't, I, I don't understand the logic. No lawyer has told them to shut up. And especially the person who pulled the trigger. You would expect Alec Baldwin to be silent. It, it would have made sense for him to issue his apology or his regret or something along those lines. Like one of his earlier statements might have been fine. But from that moment forward, these interviews and retweets and reposting, it could make the prosecutors in this district decide that they're going to make an example out of him. Because how dare you shoot someone and then make yourself out to be a victim? How dare you? Stand by as concern after concern is raised about how you as a producer ran this set, but you actually have the audacity, the nerve. You have the nerve. You have the unmitigated gall to put that out there that claims allegations of what this police department is investigating that resulted in the death of a human being, that that's all BS. This is not a game. Someone is dead. And the buck stops with you, sir. The buck stops with you. A reasonable person is held to a certain standard in that situation. It's not about what you think you should have done or what you think you should have been responsible for. No, it's not about that. And then the way it's written, this assertion that claims of an unsafe set, a set in which a person was killed, that those claims are BS. That's, that's what you wanna retweet. That's what you wanna repost. And keep in mind, this is happening in the context, okay, in which the affidavit for a search warrant has already been released. So let's see what they had to say and whether you can really say so confidently that claims that something was wrong, something was unsafe about that set are just truly just BS. So they spoke with Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, the armorer for the set. In the interview, Hannah advised on the day of this incident, she checked the dummies and ensured they were not hot rounds. They also learned as the crew broke for lunch, the firearms were taken back and secured inside a safe on a prop truck on set. During lunch, she stated the ammo was left on a cart on the set, not secured. Hannah stated after lunch, Sarah Zachary pulled the firearms out of the safe inside the truck and handed them to her. She advised there are only a few people that have access and the combination to the safe. During the course of filming, Hannah advised she handed the gun to Alec Baldwin a couple of times and also handed it to David Halls. When Affiant, the officer, asked about live ammo on set, Hannah responded, no live ammo is ever kept on set. While the firearms were secured, Ammo was not. Does that sound safe to you? That doesn't sound safe to me. So they went on to speak with David Hall. 
During an interview with David Halls, when the officer asked David about the safety protocol on set in regards to firearms, he advised, I check the barrel for obstructions. Most of the time, there's no live fire. She, Hannah, opens the hatch and spins the drum, and I say cold gun on set. David advised when Hannah showed him the firearms before continuing rehearsal, he could only remember seeing three rounds. He advised he should have checked all of them, but didn't and couldn't recall if she spun the drum. David advised when Hannah showed him the firearm before continuing the rehearsal, he could only remember seeing three rounds. He should have checked them all. He says he should have checked all of them, but he didn't. Does that sound like a safe set to you? And it's notable that he also couldn't recall if she spun the drum like she was supposed to. This doesn't sound like a safe set to me. And now someone else apparently on the set, a crew member is asserting that our concern, that that's BS. And this guy, Alec Baldwin, the one who fired the shot has the nerve to repost it. It's not just insensitive. I mean, it's that. But it reeks of a level of defensiveness and narcissism that you can expect from Hollywood. You, you can, you can. But it's unwise. Somebody, who was his friend, should tell him to shut his mouth. Because if he continues to talk like this, he's going to get arrested. And probably justifiably so. Because the more we learn about what happened here, the more it sounds like no protocols either existed, no firm protocols, no consistent protocols, or if there were, they weren't followed. And if that's not a disregard for human life and safety, I don't know what is. But hey, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.